my name is Brittany and today we are going to do steam videos. Well, this week is tropical week and we are going to be creating flowers. Fun flowers as if we are on the beach relaxing in the islands because why would we not? What we are going to need for this project are two pieces of paper. I cut one regular size sheet of paper into a square, a larger square, and for the second paper, I cut into a smaller square. So just so you can see for dimensions, their sizing, this is what it looks like. A pair of scissors and a stapler. If you have a smaller stapler, it would work better, but it's okay if you don't. So to start off, we are going to take the bigger sheet of paper that is now a square that you cut it into, and we're going to fold it in half. And if you're going to fold it, you can fold it evenly. Make sure to fold it evenly so that it all aligns because we want even lines so that both the papers can match up together. So we're gonna fold it in half like so. And with one of the halves, we're going to fold it again. Just like that. So this is what it would look like. One half you fold it. And in order to get, fold that in half, we're going to fold down like this. This is, you get four even parts. One, two, a lot. One, two, three, four. And we're going to repeat on the other side so that we can have four more even parts and that would make eight. And now we have eight parts on the first paper, the bigger piece of paper. We're going to repeat the same steps on the smaller piece of paper. And then we're going to put that on top. So fold it in half. Make sure they're even. Work with one half to make sure that gets into four parts. So you wanna fold it over. four sides pieces on this side and we're gonna do the same thing onto the other side so that we have eight in total. So now we have both pieces of paper that are in eight pieces, I feel like an accordion. But we're going to take the bottom piece, the bigger piece I should say. Just make sure to refold those creases so the creases are defined. And we're going to fold them so that they're together like such. So you may have to just recrease and flip. If it's on this side, you may just have to flip over so that they're all in one direction, if that makes sense. And we're going to take one end 
and this is what we use our scissors for. We're going to cut up and make a little curve. Coming around. So it's like a round shape and then we're gonna finish it off in a straight line. So it's like a little curve now. And you're just going to flip it over and repeat the same steps. Any extra paper, you can just discard to the side. And this is what is going to give the flower shape because now it has rounded edges and then it has indents. So we're going to put this to the, to the side and we're going to do the same thing for the smaller piece of paper. Just make sure you fold those so that it aligns up. And if you have to flip it over, that's totally fine. Just make sure you flip it over on the line so all the lines are even as well. we're going to do the same process. We're just going to cut up and around in a curved motion so it could give us the petals that we love oh so much. Yeah guys, we're gonna feel like we are in the summer sun next to the beach smelling the air. If you have allergies, probably wouldn't wanna be around the trees and stuff, but it's okay. So now that we have our blue smaller piece of paper cut, we're going to take this and fold it in half. Fold it like such. Make sure that line is defined in the middle. And we're going to place that to the side. We're also going to do that for the bigger piece of paper as well. The bigger piece of paper we're going to put down and the two ends should be facing down. The smaller piece of paper we're going to put on top and that goes for the same thing for the two ends should be facing down and it will go over just like this. So this is what it will look like and you're going to push them together and see that's why we bent them so that it's easier to fold. And we're going to find the middle. To make it easier to find the middle, you could take back one of the flaps, second pair of flaps, and the remaining flap is the middle flap. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our stapler and staple right under that line crease. And so this is how it should look. So what we're going to do is take one of the flap sides and we're going to fold them over so that it looks like this. And now you're starting to see the little curves, starting the petals are starting to create. And this is why I said if you have a smaller stapler, it may work a little better because you need to get to these corners. If you have a big one, it's okay. We can make it work, just like how I'm gonna make it work. So we're going to fold over these two flaps and it's going to connect. And at the back, you're going to just staple, a quick little staple. Times two, third times the charm, guys. So, this is what one half looks like. For our other half, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to fold it over. Go at the bottom and 
at the bottom, staple the bottom so that the petals connect and it looks, starts forming a flower. And for the final results, this is how it could look. You can add decoration. See, imagine if you saw this on the beach, just walking with your friends or family. I would wanna pick this and put it in my hair. These are so cute. And so you can just do these different colors, different sizes, fun little escape to paradise from reality. And why wouldn't you want that? So for the first week of camp, I just feel as if you should pick your two favorite colors, make this flower and just wear it around to where you please so that everybody could see that you're a bundle of joy and you belong in a paradise. And guess what? They're able to get a piece of paradise because you're there. So flowers up. I can put it in my head like this. Look stylish. I hope you had a great time making flowers because it's paradise. If you're not watching this on the Sunrise Studios app, well, why not? You can download the Sunrise Studios app on your phone or tablet from your app store and you can watch all of our virtual cam videos the moment they're released. You can also find Sunrise Studios on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, or you can watch it on our Sunrise Association YouTube channel. See you soon!